attacks all enemies three times with each hit inflicting continuous damage for two turns, this attack ignores the defense in proportion to the number of harmful effects granted on the enemy target. On paper, it seems like, ooh, ignore defense plus a lot of debuffs seems good. Who knows how much the multipliers are, who knows how much defense it ignores. That's what we're trying to find out today. Second skill is a single target defense break and stun. And the first skill is a disturb HP recovery, attack power, leader skill 28%. Not a crazy amount for an LD5. Yeah, this is an LD5. Let's see if it's any good. G1 first match off to a, uh, a good start. It's going to be a full LD team. Okay, full LD team. Of course. Well, now we know how they got G1. I'm sure they have crazy runes too. I'm sure it's not just about the LDs. Maybe they just want to play with some LDs. But yeah, LDs, uh, LDs don't hurt. Okay, so comes back with the Kalancing. Also doesn't get the Volantis uh, passive activation twice. Ooh, not looking good. We need to see a comeback from this Dark Triss. <laughs> More violent procs. Okay, well, the LD5s don't seem to be winning the match for them. Yeah, let's see. Some continuous damage. I don't feel like we really got to see a great showing of her right there. Well, obviously, we're going to see some more. So we've got some uh, C2 here. We get to see two different LDs. Well, we see uh, technically four LDs, but two that I'm interested in. Bans out the Light Indra. Okay, well, we'll get to see one that I'm interested in then. And bans out the Nephthys. Gets the Glancings. Fever time. Okay. Spur it around. Absorb attack gauge. Here we go. Let's see how much uh, ignore defense she does. I mean, she killed two things. That's a good start. Of course, the LD5s come out. Why wouldn't they? This is Summoner's War after all. Okay, so they got the strips. They got the CC. They got the damage. Multiple ignore defense style damage. Okay. Let's see it. Stuns on everyone. Ooh. Gets the karma too. Firewall. We get to see at least two of these, uh, these Nutris. Lots of debuffs. Okay. All right, let's see. Oh, here we go. How much damage this is going to do. Does she nuke everything? She does not nuke everything. Okay. Well, she doesn't have an attack power buff, but... So this is the guy that we saw in the first match, the full LD5 team. Pick something that's not an LD5 here. Picks Irene. So we get to see still an LD5 team because Irene gets banned. All right. So they should take turn one. Yep. Increase uh, attack power. So many buffs. Okay. A little bit of, a little bit of damage there. Lots of dots. Baramos is going to almost get another turn. And does this ki he kills quite a lot. Crazy LDT. They gotta have crazy runes too. I mean, it's not like they're just buying LD packs and nothing else. Right? So, the rune quality on this must be... I wish I could see it. I wish I could show you guys, but, uh... Alas. I am, uh... I do not have access to that. I don't... I don't think... I don't think we really need to see four LD5s versus a Camilla. So, I think we're gonna see another passive base... No, we are not gonna see another passive base team on the right-hand side. Left-hand side is just a bunch of LD5s again. This is not even the same player as we just saw. This is a different player. Bans out the three-star... Oh my god, if all the units they could be banned, they're like, I'm gonna ban me ho. If this thing been traumatized from that. Okay, let's see. It's gonna be an Asima spotlight. I like how Asima with this transmog looks like she's uh oh, let's see. Ignore defense on everything. That's not gonna be able to. Yep. That's not gonna be able to handle it. C1 too is <laughs> just a fun team of LD5s in C1. <clears throat> That's Summoner's War. Looks like both players are trying to take turn one, but the player on the left-hand side is comfortable taking turn two. They bring a bunch of water units out against a bunch of fire units, and Xiong Peng gets banned, Hei Gang gets banned. So, right-hand side should take turn one. Can they handle all of these? Well, I, I suppose there's only two water units on the battlefield right now. Okay, guess the bear. Hey, we get to see uh, Double Triss. All right. 
some ignore defense there. <laughs> some more dots. I wish that was the opposite way around, though. I wish Rika came out first and then the Dark Triss. It's dangerous. How much dies? I mean, they might have Haroon as more of a bruiser. I guess, I guess not. I wasn't paying attention to exactly how much damage uh, she was doing and was being done to her. Otherwise, we could try to calculate the uh, the HP that she had. Well, nothing seems to be critting on Camila, so that's, uh, I mean, that's kind of fire units, right? But... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the Camila player is like, could you please just crit once? Please! Take these debuffs off. That's why they didn't ban the Camilla. Another thrilling C1 bet. Wait, did we see a C1 battle before? I don't know. Lots of dots. Lots of debuffs. Let's see. One stripper gets banned. Well, speed lead strip. But they still get turn one because nothing is going to contest turn one on the other side. Just a bunch of turn two passives. All right. Not going to be enough damage to kill stuff. Decent amount of harmful effects, though. And then you got the brands, the decrease attack age, and then meteor strike. This should kill everything. Not everything. Just kidding. Thought that was going to kill Vanessa. Clearly, I was mistaken. Well, I don't know how exactly these units are ruined, though. So, I, I may assume, <laughs> silly enough, that it's going to kill some things, but... Did decent enough. Same player as before. The one that likes to use the uh, the double Triss. Ooh, looks like the opponent is countering him pretty hard, though. So let's see. Bans out the Fire Shadow Caster. Are the double Triss going to be able to do enough to counter this crazy passive team? Oh, <laughs> this Chung Pung is going to get uh, nuked. Yeah, almost. Almost. Okay, so attack age depleted. Is Meteor Shred going to do enough damage? It did some. It took one unit out. Juno's about to get uh, fully healed up. N not fully. Not from three debuffs, but yeah. Dark Triss is going <laughs> to go down immediately. All right. Do they? They don't have enough. They don't have enough to take anything down. Yeah. GG. Ooh. So right hand side should outspeed. Yeah, right hand side should outspeed unless they. Uh... So one of those units in the middle could be on Swift. Yep. But will runes, something I don't personally believe in. I just don't believe they exist. That's what. It's a sar. It's sarcasm, guys. It's a joke. Obviously, will runes exist? Okay. Glancing at brands, and then how much ignore defense? That took down quite a lot. So we saw this player before, we did not get to see the double LD combo. Can we see it here? No, we cannot see the double LD combo. Of course, we should have expected that. You're gonna have a lot of de- oh my god, a lot of debuffs. Let's see, do they get the glancings? A couple things get glanced. And we'll see- oh my god, Verdi Heal taking so many turns. Can Vered make something- nope, he cannot. All right. Yeah, I, I didn't think they were going to go for the skill three. I felt like they were going to wait for more debuffs. So, they, Varad needs the violent proc. That's what starts this combo. He gets the violent proc. Okay, everything is now frozen. Do that. Yeah, they go for it now. Okay. Nice. <laughs> nice. Varad's like, I had enough of this nonsense. There we go. And one violent proc changed the match. Not surprising. I get the feeling that both of these players want to take turn one. Does the speed lead get banned out? No, Ethna gets banned out. Is the monkey on swift? It is not. They usually aren't, but that monkey can get pretty crazy fast on swift. He's got very high base speed. You can catch your opponent off. You can catch your opponent off guard if they don't have will runes with skill two. Also, you can just do skill three and it will strip and stun just like Ethna does. So 
Yeah, that was, uh, I mean, this was just a speed battle from the very beginning, though. No doubt about it, this is a good unit. I'm just trying to figure out if this is an LD5 worthy good unit because other units do ignore defense other units do big damage she does still need the setup of a lot of harmful effects on the enemies to do all that ignored defense and you got to think this in comparison to other units is this as game changing as something like ragdoll or tian lying where as soon as you summon it you are at, at a, a big advantage in something like rta because you have something that the opponent has to think differently in order to counter so i also think that this could be a really cool combination for arena offense this is probably way more brutal in arena offense where you can kind of set up the team and not have to worry about one of your very important units getting removed from the uh from the battlefield so you could probably set this up really nicely with like tiana galleon rika skill three and then dark Triss skill three and just build her for pure damage and have her do crazy crazy amounts of damage element neutral because it's dark but you know, she's an, and also the leader skill, it's 28%, but it's still an attack power leader skill. So she's got that for that team. But I think that that might be the best place for her to uh, shine. So it could be really fun. For, it's a nat 5, it's an LD5 though. Very few people are even going to get this. So for the two people out there that are watching this that actually have the unit, that could be some food for thought. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you as always in the next one.